morning everybody happy monday how are you i am absolutely loving the weather in austin texas lately like we're in april late april i can still sleep with the window open because it's nice and chilly at night which is not typical so crazy weather yes we'll take it though that's the happy thoughts for this morning. Uh, hi, I'm Paola Guillon. I'm a success coach and professional tango dancer in Austin and I love doing those happy Mondays every Monday and get started right for the week. So as some of you may know, I take requests when it comes to certain things that I can talk about. And last week somebody mentioned uh, about the exploitation, uh, exploitation of women in our culture and I was like, Wow, okay, I'm, I'm down with that. <laughs> I'm absolutely down talking about it. Um, but the more I thought about it, it was like, wow, that is such a big subject. I mean, this, is, this has so many ramifications. I just don't think I can just do one happy Monday about something that's not so happy. However, definitely relevant and we need to talk about it. So I started to break it down. And in my mind, Talking about exploitation, uh, we have to talk about desensitization. And desensitization is uh, making somebody less sensitive to maybe some cruelty, some violence, something that is just not in alignment with our authentic self, our authentic version of the ideal culture. So exploitation of women and being projected as objects which is really dehumanizing, we are becoming more and more desensitized to that. Like it's completely accepted to use the female form to sell advertisement, for example. I mean, I was trying to remember the last time I saw an advertisement for a tropical vacation uh, with just a family, with just, you know, toddlers, uh, playing on the beach or a very good looking gentleman on the beach is like, no, it's women, very young, gorgeous women. That's, that's the main thing. And, and we lose sensitivity to that. Like we don't ask ourselves that question because the culture is making us less, less sensitive to the alternative. So desensitization is one aspect of it. And then we're taking that for granted. So we're not asking ourselves, wait a minute, how come? I mean, some of us are, but most of us not. <laughs> because we're used to it. Because we're used to it. If we had the privilege of not having issues with it, we don't ask ourselves questions. Period. Even as a woman, I'm still white. So I still enjoy a lot of that privilege. If we don't ask ourselves those questions, we're just going to keep nurturing it. So taking things for granted as in, yes, they are selling exotic vacation. Therefore, you will have a beautiful woman in the advertisement. And then you really expect to have the beach completely covered with beautiful women. When you arrive, I don't think so. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Um, the next level is, I had a wonderful conversation with a friend and we were talking about tango and, and how it's, it's mostly a male dominated industry. Let's face it, you, it's, it's partner dancing. However, when it comes to who's organizing, who's leading classes, who's leading conversation, the amount of DJs when it comes to events, it's a male dominated industry. We are looking at the women and the women are there and they're beautiful and they look fantastic and uh, they own their own. However, when it comes to the narrative, the organization, the perception, it's a male dominated industry and especially in Austin, Texas. So my friend was saying, you know what, Paula, I think I'm going to start boycotting events that have a majority of the men as far as DJs and organizers. And I'm going to tell them. <laughs> And I'm going to tell them, if you don't have more women in their events or in their organization, I'm just not going to come. You know, that's the perfect example of somebody, of a, a man, uh, asking themselves, is that right? Does that feel right? You know? So have we taken for granted that, yeah, it's a male-dominated industry, therefore it's going to stay and remain 
a male-dominated industry or are we going to stop taking things for granted and become more sensitive to the option of what is really authentic there yeah okay so when it comes to nurturing the authentic self that will be my last point today there is the mindfulness and there is the mindlessness and being mindful of what is really in alignment with us as human compared to what is culturally expected and accepted may not be the same thing. So I stand for balance in a lot of things. I mean, even when it comes to food, I'm French, I love food. However, it's about balancing the meals and how much meat and vegetables and how much wine and water. So it's all about balance. Do we really, really want to embrace the idea that culture has to be male dominated or is there a balance between the feminine and the masculine men and women and everybody in between that's the big question are we being mindful of hey if i were a woman would i be able to do this would i be able to get away with that and as women it's like well what if i were a man how would i answer how would i behave what would i consider I deserve and that's a huge question also but that's part of the huge conversation that is women's exploitation our patriarchal culture how it affects women and at the very end of it how it actually hurts men how men are being hurt by the fact that we are living in a really rigid patriarchal culture yeah <laughs> so that's my tidbit for today. I'll let you nurture that one this week and I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear what you think about it. And we're going to keep on that subject and, and go one layer at a time because there is a lot going on. Uh, and uh, if you need help with anything, I'm here for you. If you want to start dancing and you're in Austin, Texas, let me know. <laughs> I can hook you up. And until next week, reach for the greatest version of yourself. You can do it. Bye-bye.